Hello guys. Uh, good morning. Good morning everyone. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon. Everywhere you are. Okay. Uh, today's topic will be statistics when it comes to our Catholic faith. It is as worldwide. I know the Roman Catholics in, in the world are worldwide. Okay. And I'm going to give you a brief uh, news about what's going on with our Catholic faith worldwide. Okay. And this is your host, Freddy. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And and uh, give me a big likes. And also, at the same time, at the same time, guys, is uh, make some comments. Okay? I know many are going to have comments. Okay? And you are welcome. Whatever. If you are pro or not. Okay? Or you are challenging me, that's still okay. Okay? Now, before we start, I'm going to uh, say a little bit, uh, some sort of prayer to the Holy Spirit, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. That's a beautiful prayer, guys. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay? This is the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Okay? Ito. Uh, may sinabi, dyan sa Pilipinas, may sinabi si Pangulong Duterte. At gusto kong uh, pakinggan nyo muna. Okay? Itong katunito na ito will disappear in almost 25 years. Wala na. Nakita nyo ang kabastusan ng Pangulong Duterte na mga katoliko, piniyagan natin yan nung kapanahon ni Digong Duterte na magsalita ng mga kabastusan, pagmura. Ha? Hindi sila nakakalayo ni Brother Eli Soriano. At yan ay pinagbabawal ng MTRCB. But during those times, kontrolado ni Pangulong Duterte. It's now, it's President Bongbong Marcos Jr. na may pit ang MTRCB. At ito ay natututuhan ng mga bata. At ngayon, ang mga bata dyan sa Pilipinas ay tumitino na dahil sa MTRCB. At kaya nagagalit nga si Vice Kanda. Okay? So, hindi talaga magandang aral ang magmura. Lalo na sa television. Ah, kasi ayaw nakaharap sa mga bata. Gusto ba nyo ang mga anak nyo palamura? Ah, sa Bible verse, tingnan nyo kung hindi nga ang palamura ay masama o hindi. Nasasaad yan sa Bible verse. Okay. Here's are the news for the Catholic Church. Okay. Sabi niya ni Pangulong Duterte, it will diminish in years to come. Okay, the Catholic. Here's the news. In February 2022, that was last year, uh, Vatican releases the 20, 2020 number, the number of Catholics in the world increased by 16 million to 1.36 billion. Grabe, no? We are now 1.36 billion Catholics worldwide. It means 17.7% of the world population is Catholic. 17.7%. Napakarami niyan. Kasi talagang magiging 17 kasi ang population ng China napakalaki. And uh, alam naman niyo ang China, hindi, wala silang reliyon. Okay? Nasaan ba yung mga Katoliko? Narito mo yan, 48% are in America. 28% living in South America. Malaking bagay yan, ano? Sa Pilipinas po, 86% of the population is Roman Catholic. 86%. And 6% belong to various Christian cults. Alam mo, may mga kulto. Di ba may mga kulto dyan? Ha? Okay. 
Yung iba basa ng basa ng Biblia, araw-araw yan. Oo. Wala nang panahon magtrabaho. Lumiliban sa trabaho. Ang tanong ko, pastor ba kayo? Ayan. Lahat ba kayo gusto maging pastor? Paano ang kabuhayan yun kung hindi kayo magtatrabaho? Babaksak ang, ang, ang economy ng pamilya nyo. Pakisagot lang ko. Hindi kayo pastor para magbasa ng Biblia araw-araw. Meron tayo linggo. On, on, this, on, on Sunday, we need to rest. Pause, go to church, or go to your, to your religion. Di ba? Hindi araw-araw, hindi oras-oras, ay makikinig, magbabasa ng Biblia. Baka masira ulo nyo. It's a word of God. Pag binasa nyo ang Biblia, you need to pray to the Holy Spirit so you will be enlightened. If not, what will happen? You will be confused and time will come. It's a word of God. Yung iba, mga pare, uh, at ibang pastor, they go to uh, school. At ito pa nga pala, si Brother Eli Soriano, ay uh, hindi niya natapos ang kanyang course, ang kanyang kurso. Ayan. At pumunta na siya di, dyan sa Brazil. And the Supreme Court said, meron siyang kaso sa, ano, na, sa Supreme Court, two rape cases. Kaya nagpunta siya dyan sa, sa Brazil. Asylum. Yan ang katotohanan. Meron siyang two rape cases per Supreme Court. Okay? So, ganyan o. Ngayon, ang sa Brazil, ilang ba ang mga katoliko dyan sa Brazil? Sa Brazil ay 123,360,000. Diyan sa Brazil na pinuntahan ni Brother Eli. Sa Mexico is 100 million. At sa Pilipinas, 85,470,000. It represent about 79 to 80%. Okay? At ang mga Katoliko, sa Africa has increased from 1 million in 1902 to 329 million 882 at ito ay nag-increase simula noong 2015 to 2016 an increase of 49 million 767 ito ang the fastest growing catholics in the world in Africa at uh, sa Africa is only 2% of 100 Protestant denomination. Yan, yan ang, ano, ang, ang mga combination, yung mga ibang mga reliyon, only 2%. Yan. yan o. So yan o mga data na, na gusto ko i-emphasize sa inyo. At uh, sa mga Katoliko at sa mga Christian, Christian churches all over the world, most especially here in the United States. Uh, happy Thanksgiving and at the same time Merry Christmas Merry Christmas uh, yung mga walang religion we could call it Happy Holiday okay uh, kasi sa mga ibang religion lahat ninyo sa Church of God they don't celebrate Christmas they don't celebrate even New Year oh what are those things are you a cult <laughs> okay Till next my blog, till my next blog, this is your host, Freddy, in Facebook, slash Freddy, at in YouTube, at Filipino sa America blog. Okay? Again, I'll see you in my next blog. In God we trust, never hold your peace.